Hello, everyone. I am Yingjun Zhang. Today, I'm going to present our paper, Verdi, Quality Estimation and Error Detection for Bilingual Copra, by myself, Haijiang Wu, Di Niu, Zi Xuan Wang, and Xiao Li Wang. Our paper is finished through the collaboration of both University of Alberta and Tencent, and is accepted by the Web Conference 2021. Machine translation has achieved great success in generating accurate translations with a single neural network in an end-to-end -end fashion. Although NMT eliminates the need for handcrafted features and rules as compared to traditional statistical machine translation methods, yet a well-performing NMT model is largely dependent on large amounts of high-quality training data. Common practices of obtaining labeled translation data include asking language experts to acquire the accurate translations, relying on the existing machine translators to generate sentence pairs, and leveraging parallel corpus crawled from the web. However, human labeling is both slow and expensive, and machine-generated or web crawled corpora usually do not have any guarantee in quality and contain a high degree of noise. This noisy data demand further editing or filtering to correct the errors, which is still a highly expensive procedure. As a result, the ability of automatically estimating the translation quality of sentence pairs become an urgent need. Automatic quality estimation aims to directly assess the quality of a source target translation pair without referencing to the golden human translation. For example, Hello translated to Ni Hao is a good translation, while Bai translated to Ni Hao is certainly bad. Typically, quality estimation has two goals, word-level and sentence-level quality estimation. The goal of word-level QE is to predict a tag for each token in the translated sentence to detect mistranslated words, and a tag for each gap between two tokens to detect missing words. In this example, correct translation tokens are marked green, where the three mistranslated tokens are marked red. On the other hand, in sentence level QE tab, the commonly used metric, measurement metric is human translation error rate, HDER, which is the ratio between the number of edits needed and the reference translation length, which in this example is 3 over 7, equaling 0 0.4286. Traditional studies on quality estimation are based on handcrafted features or feature selection. Given a pair of sentences, these features are extracted by some carefully designed rules and then passed into a shallow network for the final predictions of the QE score at either sentence or word level. So the training data required for the traditional math, uh, QE methods at the stage of feature engineering, no training data is required and the QE predictor is trained by the QE data composed of the source sentences, their corresponding translations, and the quality annotations, as shown in the previous slide. Deep learning methods have, have also been applied to quality estimation. The recent predictor and estimator framework for QE has drawn much attention, which consists of an RNN-based word prediction model that extracts latent features from the input and an estimator that provides quality evaluation based on the extracted features. Different from traditional methods, the RNN-based word predictor is firstly trained on large amounts of parallel data so that meaningful translation features can be learned. And then the neural quality estimator is trained from the QE to map the features extracted from the predictors to the QE score. In this paper, we propose Verdi, a novel translation quality estimation and error detection method, which falls into the predictor estimator framework. Our framework utilizes two word predictors for feature extraction, including an NMT model and a pre-trained XLM model. The MT predictor is made up with the transformer model, which is greatly popular model choice for neural machine translation. Yet we leverage multiple training techniques including model-level dual learning and mixture models to boost the feature extraction ability of the transformer. The XLM model predictor uses a pre-trained cross-lingual language model to improve the feature extraction. 
unlike monolingual and language models such as BERT, XLM models are also pre-trained on parallel corpora and construct cross-lingual representations on text, which suit better to the translation QE task. Then we incorporated two by GRU estimators with weight sharing to map the NMP features and the XLM features to the final QE prediction. Next, we will introduce these models in detail, starting from the NMT predictor. Transformer is currently the state-of-the-art model for NMT, which consists of an encoder that maps source sentences to the hidden representation and a decoder that outputs the target translation based on the encoder output. The encoder and decoder of transformer consists of the several stacked blocks. Each block is composed of a multi-headed self-attention layer, an optional multi-attention layer that only present in decoder and a feed-forward layer. Between two consecutive layers, a residual connection and the layer normalization operation is performed. The only structural difference between the encoder and decoder is the multi-headed attention layer. Therefore, we can construct a unified conditional encoder that performs both encoding and decoding function with the same structure as the transformer decoder. The difference is that when encoding, two vectors of zeros are passed into the multi-headed attention layer as the key and the query vectors. And in the decoding process, the encoder output are passed. With the residual connection, the conditional encoder performs the exact same function as the transformer encoder and decoder. After the unified structure is built, we can use model-level dual learning to improve the translation model by leveraging the dualities of the machine translation task. It designs a model structure where a single model can perform both the primal and the dual task simultaneously with the same set of parameters. We build our MT model based on the encoder-decoder architecture with two unified conditional encoders. By alternatively, alternatively switching the two conditional encoders, we are able to train the MT predictor on both the primal task of source to, sentence, to target translation and the dual task of target to source translation. The detailed training procedures of the MT predictor is shown here. For each training step, a batch of source and target sentences, X, Y, is sampled from the training data. We first train the EMT, NMT predictor on the primal task by encoding X with conditional encoder A and decoding with encoder B. Then we train the model on the dual task by encoding Y with encoder B and decoding with encoder A. By training on the two dual tasks with double the amount of training data and weight sharing, our MT predictor is capable of outputting more accurate translations and producing more robust representations for the sentence pair. Our second predictor is built upon pre-trained cross-lingual language model, which aims to build a universal cross-lingual language encoder that maps the sentences of different languages into a shared embedding space. The pre-training of the MT model involves both monolingual and cross-lingual objectives including masculine language modeling and translation language modeling. Masculine language modeling is a typical objective used in many pre-trained language models, such as BERT, where a portion of the input tokens are randomly masked. And the objective is to correctly recover the masculine tokens based on their preceding and following context. The inputs of translation language modeling includes a concatenated translation sentence pair. And similarly, tokens in both the source sentence and target sentence are randomly masked. When predicting the masked word, the model can attend not only to the surrounding words in the sentence, but also the words in the other language. Through the pre-training, cross-lingual language models can effectively model the cross-lingual representations and produce meaningful features for quality estimation. The predictors trained on the parallel corpus will serve as feature extractors for the quality estimation task. In Verdi, we include three features in the framework that are mismatch, mismatching features, model-derived features, and a new design of dual model features. The basic intuition of mismatching features is to measure the difference between the given translation sentences and the prior knowledge of the predictors. Specifically, we include four dimensions in the mismatching features for each token. 
that are the probability of the given translation token, the probability of the most probable token, the probability difference between the two tokens, and a zero one indicator whether the two tokens are the same. Following the previous work, the model derived feature is derived as the element wise product of the hidden representation Z and the target embedding E, where the hidden representation Z is the decoder output before the final prediction layer. We have also come up with a novel feature named the dual model feature based on the model level dual learning, which is derived solely to encode the target information without considering the source context. Therefore, it focuses on the internal correlations between the translation words and constructs a compact representation on the target side. Similar to model derived feature, it is derived as the element wise product of the encoder output Z prime and the source embedding E prime. After we extract the features from the predictors, an estimator is applied to learn a transformation function that maps the features to the estimation output. The task of word and sentence level quality estimation can be treated as a sequential labeling and regression problems. Therefore, we have designed our estimator based on a bi-directional GRU network connected with a few feed forward layers. The design features are first concatenated together along the depth direction for both the MT predictor and the XLM predictor. Then, the concatenated features are fed to the estimator to predict the HTR score or the word level tags for sentence and word level QE, respectively. Our proposed framework is evaluated on the WMT20 English Chinese QE test. For the training of the MT predictor, we use the CCMT20 English Chinese dataset with 8.95 million sentence pairs. For the QE test dataset, WMT20 QE Chinese English dataset is used. The detailed statistics of the dataset is shown in this table. For the evaluation metrics, we use Pearson correlation coefficients MAE and RMSE for the sentence level QE and Matthews correlation coefficients F1 bad and F1 OK for the word level QE tasks. We also compare our method with five baseline methods, include NUQE, PREDES, XLM PREDES, BIRD PREDES, and Bilingual Expert, which are the recent state of the art of the QE models. In this table, we first compare performance of our birdie with the mentioned baseline methods and then compare our ensemble model with the winning system of the WMT20 QE competition. You can see that in single models, Birdie achieves the best performance on both word and sentence level QE tasks, significantly outperforming other baseline methods. And our ensemble model also beats the WMT20 winning system. We have also conducted a ablation analysis by incrementally accommodating different modules and methods to a base model. From the results shown in this table, we can observe that there is significant performance improvement each time a module is added, which verifies the effectiveness of our design. We also perform an experiment on bilingual corpus filtering by applying our sentence level QE model to evaluate the quality of samples in the parallel corpus. Specifically, we use a 6 million parallel dataset and filter out 1 million samples with the highest error prediction scores and achieve the performance improvement with less the training data, which is a good indication that QE result can be particularly helpful to bilingual corpus filtering. To conclude, in this paper, we propose our VERTI framework to solve the quality estimation problem. Our prediction model includes a pre-trained XLM model and an NMT model that is trained through model level to learning. Besides, we also designed a novel feature to construct a better representation of the target site. Experiments conducted demonstrate that our system yields a better performance than other baseline methods. We have also shown a potential application of employing QE methods on bilingual corpus filtering tasks and demonstrated its effectiveness. If you have any questions or thoughts on our paper, welcome to our session during the conference. You're also welcome to reach me through the contact information here. Thank you for listening.